Today, we are diving into one of the coolest algorithm in computer science, the binary search. If you have ever wondered how your phone finds a contact in milliseconds, or how the Google serves you results in a flash, well, the binary search is one of the secret behind it. So what is the binary search? It's a super efficient divide and conquer algorithm that helps us find an element in a sorted array by repeatedly cutting its search space in half. Think of it like a finding a word in a dictionary. You don't flip through every page, right? You just open it roughly in the middle and keep narrowing it down. That's binary search in action. All right, so let's start with the problem. Imagine you have a sorted array of numbers. Our mission is to find the number seven in this array. So now you might think, why not just check every number one by one? Well, that's called the linear search. And while it works, it's not the most efficient. If the array had 1 million number, you would have checking 1 million times. So it have an order of n complexity. But with the binary search, you can find the number in just a few steps. How? By dividing the array in half and eliminating the half of the remaining elements with each step. That's why this searching algorithm is called binary, means two. So in each step, it divides by 2. So the linear search takes order of n of the time complexity, meaning that the time grows linearly with the size of the array. But the binary search is efficient and it takes only the order of log n time, which means the time grows logarithmically. That's the way it's faster. So now let's look at the code for binary search. Don't worry if you are not a coding expert. I'll walk you through line by line. First, we define the function def binary search, which takes two parameters, the array and the target. So next, we set up two pointers, left assigns zero and right assigns len of array minus one. These pointers mark the start and end of our searching space. Then we enter a loop, a while loop. The condition is the left less than or equal to right. This loop keeps running as long as there is a valid search space. And inside the loop, we calculate the middle index. Mid assigns left plus right, double divided by two. This is where the magic happens. We check the middle element. And if the middle element is the target, that is if array of mid is equal to the target then return the mid we have found it and return the index and if the middle element is less than the target that is a leaf array of mid less than target then left assigns mid plus one so we move the left pointer to search the right half and if the middle element is greater than the target that that is the else condition right assigns mid minus one. So we move the right pointer to the to search the left half. And if we exit the loop without finding a target, we return minus one. So that we return minus one to indicate the target isn't in the array. It's simple, right? So let's see this in action with a visualization. All right, let's visualize binary search step by step. Here is our array with 10 elements and our target is to find 7. So we start with two pointers, L at index 0 and R at index 9. So moving on to the step 1, we need to calculate the middle index. That is 0 plus 9 double divided by 2 uh, is equal to 4. So the value at index 4 is 9. So we need to check the condition is 9 equal to 7? No. Is 9 less than 7? No. So we move to the right pointer to mid, uh, mid minus 1. That is 3. So the step 2. Now our search space is from index 0 to 3. Middle index is 0 plus 3 double divided by 2. That is 1. The value at index 1 is 3. Is 3 equal to 7? No. Is 3 less than 7? Yes. So we move the left pointer to mid plus 1. That is 2. So moving on to the third step. 
Now our search space is from index 2 to 3. The middle index is 2 plus 3 double divided by 2 that is 2. The value at index 2 is 5 and we check the condition is 5 equal to 7? No. Is 5 less than 7? Yes. So we need to move the left pointer to mid plus 1 that is 3. So the last step step 4 now our search space is just index at 3 the middle index is 3 plus 3 double divided by 2 that is 3 so the value at index 3 is 7 it's is 7 equal to 7 yes we have found our target in just four steps and that's the power of binary search it's fast and efficient so what did we learn today the binary search it's a divide and conquer algorithm that works on sorted arrays and it has a time complexity of order of log n, making it super efficient for large data sets. And it's used in real world applications like dictionary lookups, database indexing and searching the sorted list. The binary search is blazing fast. Even for 1 million items, it takes just 20 steps to find the targets because it halves the search space every time. So it's very efficient for large data sets and it has only the low space complexity. It uses the constant space complexity order of one and it doesn't need any extra memory to working and it's perfect for sorted arrays. But it also has some disadvantages that is it requires the data to be sorted first and it's not ideal for the dynamic data. If the data changes frequently uh, it's hard to keep it sorted so it can be tricky and it's uh, not so efficient for smaller data sets and it only works on the indexable data. So these are the advantages and disadvantages of the binary search. So binary search is like a superhero of searching algorithms. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos and awesome content. Until next time, happy coding. Thank you.